This video was produced by the UCD Math Support Centre in conjunction with the UCD Access Centre. Previously, we used the empirical rule to calculate for a normal distribution what percentage of data fell between the mean and plus and minus a number of standard deviations. We will move on now to calculating this mathematically. Please see videos relating to the normal distribution standard score and p-value before continuing. Let's take a look at a question. The question states that a random variable x follows a normal distribution with mean 50 and standard deviation 10. Find the probability that x is less than or equal to 73. Previously, we saw that the z-score formula was equal to x minus mu over the standard deviation. So this is what we're going to use to solve this question. So the probability x is less than or equal to 73 is equal to the probability our z-score is less than or equal to x minus mu divided by our standard deviation. And filling into this, it's the probability our z is less than x, x is given to us in the question, 73, minus our mean, from the question the mean is equal to 50, divided by our standard deviation, from our question our standard deviation is 10. We tidy this up, we have probability that z is less than 73 minus 50 is 23 divided by 10. And keep tidying up and we'll get z is less than or equal to 2.3. At this stage, we need our normal distribution tables. Our normal distribution table is on page 36 and 37 of our log tables. If we look up 2.3 as our z value, we will get an answer of 0 0.9893 from our log tables. So the probability that x is less than or equal to 73 is equal to 0 0.9893. I will tidy up the slide before moving on to the next question. The next question asks us to find the probability that x is greater than or equal to 45, but also less than or equal to 73. Let's take a look at this on our normal distribution. We know that the mean is 50, and 73 would be about here, considering it's at least two standard deviations away from the mean, and 45 is about here. So what this question asks us to do is find the probability a data value is in this red shaded part. The way we approach this is to find the probability of being less than 73, this blue shaded part. And we subtract the probability that a data value is less than 43, this black shaded part. So if we subtract the black shaded part, from the blue shaded part, we'd be left with the red shaded part, the probability that the x value is between 45 and 73. The way we write this is by saying the probability x is less than or equal to 73 minus the probability of x being less than or equal to 45. We've already calculated the probability of x being less than or equal to 73. So we need to calculate the probability x is less than or equal to 45. So the probability x is less than or equal to 45 is equal to the probability that z is less than or equal to, from our standard score formula, 45 minus our mean, which is 50, divided by our standard deviation of 10. When we tie this up, we get the probability of z being less than or equal to minus 0.5. If we look at our normal distribution tables, we will see that there are no negative z values. 
However, we need the z value equal to minus 0.5. The probability of z being less than or equal to minus 0.5 is the same as 1 minus the probability that z is less than or equal to 0.5. If we go to our normal distribution of the tables, we'll see that the probability of z being less than or equal to 0.5 is 0 0.6915. This will give us an answer of 0 0.3085. Now, if we go back up to our question, the probability of x being less than or equal to 73 is 0 0.9893 minus the probability x is less than or equal to 45 which is 0 0.3085 which will give us a value of 0 0.6808 we could also state from this that 68.08 percent of the data lies between 45 and 73. Our last question asks us to find the probability x is greater than or equal to 40. So using our formula, the probability of x being greater than or equal to 40 is equal to the probability that z is greater than or equal to x minus mu over sigma. In this case our x is 40, our mu is still 50, our standard deviation is 10. So tying that up, we get the probability z is greater than or equal to minus 1. Now, we run into the same issue that we had in the previous question. Our normal distribution tables does not give values of z for minus or negative numbers. So we have to use 1 minus the probability that z is greater than 1. This sorts our issue with the negative z value. However, the normal distributions do not give the probability of z being greater than a value, but of z being less than a value. So we need to change our sum so that we don't have the probability of z is greater than or equal to 1. So yet again, we're going to replace it with 1 minus the probability that z this time is less than or equal to 1. And when we tie it up, we get 1 minus 1 plus the probability z is less than or equal to 1. Our 1s will cancel, and if we go to our normal distribution table now, we will get a value of 0 0.8413. Following this, we can say that the probability that x is greater than or equal to 40 is equal to 0 0.8413. That concludes our discussion on normal distribution questions.